Hi there, good news here. Now our YouTube channel will also share answers from the developers. Here is the first episode. Let's go! I've got a question about German aviation's jet-powered era. The long-standing leaders here are only the CL-13A and the MiG-15Bs. Why don't you add an aircraft that was the first military aircraft put into full-scale production in Germany after World War II, namely the modification of the Italian G91R3? Right now, we're thinking hard about what the future progress of aviation is going to look like in our game. It's possible that this aircraft will find a spot in the German tech tree, but it is also possible that completely different vehicles will end up there instead. Is the aircraft damage model going to be tweaked and improved in terms of graphics, visual aspect, and in terms of making the physics more realistic? We do. We can't go into details now, but we'll definitely talk about it when it's ready. Why can you call in artillery support only in light, medium tanks and SPAAGs? Shouldn't this ability be available to all vehicles equipped with a radio set? Do you plan to review this mechanic? This mechanic is simply an expedient way to slightly increase the combat value of medium and light tanks. Right now, we have no plans to introduce calling in artillery support for all vehicles. Are BK machine guns going to be shown on ground vehicles? It would be very important for anti-air guns. We don't have plans for this. How far off are tank defense modules like sandbags and other similar devices? Nothing like this has been added in a while. Yes, you're right. The introduction of these modifications has slowed since the first large batch was added. We are working to find more interesting modifications that could be used in vehicles in the game. Will there be an indicator showing weapons selection for multi-turret vehicles? We'll have a think about this. It might be worth creating a mechanic similar to the one used on ships, where the selected weapons group is highlighted in the damage model indicator. Are you planning to somehow solve the problem with the atomic sun in tank battles? After all the talk about how favorable conditions are used in battles, time after time every battle ends up on the morning preset, where the sun shines straight into your eyes. It's like a dirty trick. This problem is most noticeable when the time of day, morning or evening, is combined with a cloudy preset. We have already removed this combo from the production server. All other weather presets, except for cloudy, will be used for morning and evening. Are you planning to add visualization for the track hanging? Currently, the game only shows the movement of the suspension of the rollers, while the caterpillar tracks are static and have only a standard scrolling animation. This is what you might call a physically authentic truck, but this is quite challenging to implement both in terms of the code and in terms of the reworking existing resources. This is on the back burner for now. You said you would fix the hull roof bridge from heat and hash shells, but it looks like nothing has been done. So what's the plan for this effect? It's in the pipeline. We haven't forgotten about it. What criteria do you use to allocate maps? Lots of tank maps are identical in gameplay, size and urban structures, but they are available to different ranks. The idea behind it was simple. Flatter and smaller maps for earlier vehicles and larger maps for high ranks. Will the vehicle card show whether it has a loading machine or a gun stabilizer, just like it shows the designed version, as well as whether it has controlled suspension and charge music? Yes, we plan to add this data to the game, but we think the vehicle card already has a lot of information on it. Maybe the better option would be to add this to the vehicle X-ray mode in the hangar. Don't forget that you can find more answers on our website. Subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. See you, I should go.